The permutations feature of the BNIC is one of my favorite because it allows you to place rests in the different subdivisions and come up with some interesting patterns, including a shuffle, which a lot of uh, standard metronomes don't allow you to do. So I'm going to show you how to set up a shuffle. Um, in the analyzers, we're going to be under subdivisions. Um, under note beats, let's scroll through to the eighth note triplets. And once you're there, let's hit the perms button, which is short for permutations. And now you see we have a block of pixels blocked out at the top. So that indicates which target area or which note we're going to rest on. So we'll scroll through that, put it on the middle note of the triplet, and push down on the selector knob. That removes that note. And so now we have a shuffle. It's a slow one because we're only at 60 beats per minute. We can speed that up a little bit. Push the tempo button. There's 100 beats per minute. Practice your shuffle. And we can also set up lots of permutations. The, the, possibilities almost seem limitless. I'm going to reset that. I'm going to put that note back on the eighth note triplet by pushing it again. It comes back. Let's go into the 32nd notes. So hit note beat, scroll through until we get to 32nd notes. Hit your perms button again. Now we have the ability to put in rests. So I'm going to go scroll through and just randomly put in a rest. Let's put one there, there, now let's do another one there. Hear what that sounds like. Let's move that one too. That sounds odd. We can slow the tempo down. You can see you can come up with all sorts of interesting permutations um, with the permutations feature. The click tap feature really is three parts to it. The first part is if your session is stopped and you push the click tap button once, you start tapping the pad and it'll display what tempo you're at. So right there I'm in the low 80s. So that's helpful if you have a song in mind and you don't you want to know what tempo it is, you can just sort of tap it out on the pad and it'll display it for you. If you press the click tap button a second time, now it's a count off feature. So whatever tempo I start counting that, clicking that off at, by the time I get to the fifth beat, it's gonna start the metronome for me, for example. It started it in 16th notes, so we could try that again. Take the note beat button, reduce it down to quarter notes, click tap twice for the count off, Now we're right where I set it, 92 beats per minute. The third feature of the click tap is with the session already going. So say you're in subdivisions, I'm going to do 16th notes, actually let's do 32nd notes. There's a lot of notes in there. At 92 beats per minute, that's a lot of notes to hear. You might find it easier to reduce some of those notes so you don't hear them all by pressing the click tap feature twice, reduces it down. You'd still play all those notes. Or if you want to hear even less notes, you press it again. And again, and so on. So that's the three parts to the click tap function. Preferences is very helpful because if you build a phrase or a permutation and you don't want to have to rebuild it the next time you turn on your beatnik, you want to go into your preferences and it'll be at the top that says current setup and just push the selector knob to save it. Or you can scroll down to turn your subdivisions on or off. That's, that would be if you're hearing 16th notes and you only want to hear the quarter note pulse, you would turn that to the off. The vertical grid that we saw, which was the horizontal dotted line, Every time you're playing, whether you're in subdivisions phrase or anything like that, and you want to turn that off, that would be the way to do that.
The groove buzzer in the groove analyzer that beeped at us when we slowed down or sped up, you can turn that off as well. And finally, in the history, you can go from auto switch uh, history one or auto switch two by pressing and scrolling through or pressing that knob. Or you can restore the entire beatnik back to its original factory settings. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. I know you'll find the, the beatnik to be an invaluable tool towards improving your overall drumming skills. So thanks and enjoy.